What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Ladies and gentlemen, today we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team to showcase for you guys today. It's a Xerneas team, but it is a heavy off meta team as you guys can see considering we're rocking out with Blaziken, Sil Valley, Crocodile, and Dragonite on the squad. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or just haven't subscribed yet, make sure you scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. You guys do it yet? I'll wait. I'll wait, guys. I will seriously wait. You guys scroll down a little bit. Just click that subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes a second of you guys' time to support me as a content creator. But, yo, this team right here was sent in by my boy Evan. Evan, shout out to you for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. Cannot wait to get in for it. Cannot wait to use this team to its full potential because it looks super, super fun to use considering how off meta it is. But if you guys want to leave me vessel codes, leave them in my Instagram DMs. Link is down in the description below, and the name is right below my face cam. But let's get started here with the team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Sil Valley over here with the RKS system as his ability and then the normal gem as his item. Reason we're rocking with the normal gem is this thing is rocking explosion on his moveset. Explosion, we're just going to be able to kill ourselves there and just roll out there and deal mass amount of damage to allied Pokemon. So I really, really like this move and I really, really like this gimmick all around. The normal gem actually gives a 50% increased boost on the uh, normal moves, so... Hopefully we get to that off and get some massive kills with it. We also have Protect with that thing, Multi-Attack, and then Crunch for our coverage move. Right next to him is a really, really fun starter to use, and that is Blaziken. We got the Speed Boost ability and the Focus Sash as an item. An awesome move set of Sword Stance to set up, Blaze Kick for Stab, Protect, and Close Combat for heavy stab damage as well. Middle left is our support mod for the team, which is Clefairy. Haven't really used this Pokemon in a good bit, but I absolutely love this Pokemon and still think it is very, very viable in this online meta. Friend Guard as its ability, Evo Light as its item, then we got Follow Me, Helping Hand, Protect, and Icy Wind for Speed Control. Right next to him is the one and only Xerneas, and if we can set up this Pokemon in any battle with Geomance, it's over. It is over with. You guys know how powerful this Pokemon is once it gets set up. It can do a massive amount of damage, it can outspeed everybody, and it is super, super bulky, so it can soak up shots as well. Barry Aurora, Power Herb as its item, Geomancy as its first move, then we got Dazzling Gleam, Protect, and Moonblast as its final three. Bottom left corner is Dragonite with the life form. Haven't really been seeing a lot of Dragonite ever since Dynamax has been out of the format, but still really like to use this Pokemon. He's very, very fun, and he hits really, really hard still. We got Inner Focus ability, Life Orb as his item, and then we got Dual Wing Beat, Fire Punch, Super Power, and Extreme Speed for his moveset. The one thing I don't really like is he doesn't have a Dragon move, but I think we should be fine all around with this Pokemon. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be Crocodile, and I haven't used this Pokemon in a while, and I think he's really, really good. I used him a while back, and I had a blast using him. He was super, super strong, but this one's rocking the Chewy Scarf, so we should be able to bring him in back end late game, get some kills with him, outspeed a lot, and pretty much seal up some battles. We also have Intimidate as his ability, which works super well in this meta. Then we got High Horsepower, Throat Chop, Rock Slide, and Dragon Call for his crazy coverage moveset. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this off-meta Xerneas team. I can't wait to play with this team right here. It looks so much fun with the Blaziken, the Crocodile, and the Dragonite. Oh my god, let's try to get ourselves some wins here. We're hopping into our first battle, going up against an Eternatus team alongside with Landorus, Urshfu, Cinderace. Uh, Thunderous in his other form. I totally forget what the form's called. And then Tapu Fini as his final mod. So, decently good looking team here. Hopefully, we can actually uh, just get after it and dump on him. I might go Xerneas and try to set up. There's really nothing he can do towards that, right? Right, if I go here and here, he doesn't have a fake out user. Intimidates won't affect him. I mean, he could make us flinch with a rock slide. That's really all I'm saying. Uh, but I really do like this. I really do like this lead right here. Just these two getting after that way. We definitely want to bring this Crocodile in the back end because it's Choice Scarf. Really, really like that. And then final Pokemon is either going to be Dragonite or Blaziken for uh, battle number one. I'm trying to think. We do have the Focus Sash on him. We do have the Inner Focus over on this guy as well. But what do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do? Hmm. I mean, he does have Fairy. I mean, Fairy is going to do us both 30. But ch -ch -ch, at the same time, I'm thinking Blaze, dude. Blazekin's really good with that Swords Dance. And that Protect with the Speed Boost. I just really like that late game as well. But I'm going to end up rolling out with Blazekin. Let's hop into our first battle. Look for a win. And guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. Would you guys like to see me play more off meta teams like I've been doing? Or kind of lay back a little bit and play some more meta teams for uh, you guys? Considering I know a few of you guys like for me to play meta teams, so you guys have some good teams on the rank ladder, but I know 
a lot of you guys like like for me to play off meta teams as well because it's super super fun and it's totally different from what you guys are normally seeing but definitely let me know in the comment section down below you guys can answer both you guys can answer both if you guys want me to do like a nice little variety of it just do half and half just let me know in the comment section down below i love to know your guys answers and get feedback from you guys as well but uh we can start off here with a big turn we can just geomance easily set up right i mean he can hit through protect but i just go for a geomance and go for the uh follow me that's definitely gonna be my player follow me follow me baby i'm trying to see what he can really do to kind of stop this setup here and that's what i was thinking in the beginning i was just like he can't really stop the setup but i think we should be thriving here. poison jab is gonna fly out here should be able to eat that one up yep tasty snack gotta love clefairy man gotta love clefairy and of course you get the poison man what you mean you get the poison geomance is setting up we're absorbing the power we're absorbing the power, baby. Give me my boost. Give me my speed boost, my special attack boost, my special defense boost. We're going to be able to roll out strong here. So I can just rock out with a Dazzling Gleam very, very easily here. And take out the Earth Fruit, no problem. And do a decent amount of damage onto the uh, top of Finney as well. But he's going to actually send a Gleam as well, and that's huge for us. That's huge because, oh, is a Poison going to take us out? I think Poison is going to take us out. Oh, my God. I don't like that. It's time to bring out Crookedow. We need Crookedow out on the field here. And who's faster? That's my question. I already swapped them, but I tried going down and hit summary. I was going to see who was faster. Because I could easily just protect my... Uh... Hmm. What should I do here? I think I might, I might choose to a rock slide here. I think we gleam. 100% gleam here. Do I choose to a rock slide or do I choose into a high horsepower? I, I'm gonna see who's gonna be faster here. It might be, it might be Crookedile. Even though we're plus two. So it might be Crookedile, because we are 136. It's gonna be close. I'm hoping it's Xerneas. I'm hoping it's Xerneas. Because the reason I want to double down into this Urshfu slot is just in case. Well, it might protect. Actually, it might not be Rock Protect. But just in case it is Focus Ash, which I can definitely see happening. So, perfect. Xerneas outspeeds first. Gonna be able to do big damage, and it is not Sash. That's a lovely little turn there. Look how much damage we just did. The amount of damage we just did. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I almost took out the top of Finney as well. Crookedile's gonna be able to come in here, drop a nice big high horsepower, and pick up the easy double kill. So right now we're looking pretty good. We're sitting in the driver's seat. We're pretty much set up with Xerneas. You guys already know when Xerneas is set up, dude, it's so tough to stop. It is so tough to stop. He's gonna bring out this thing. Which is a which is our Xerneas is just gonna dump on that thing. No problem. Our Xerneas can just dump on that thing, no problem. Crookedile is going to be uh Intimidate here because he is a physical attacker and I cannot high horsepower into the landorus because he is flying So I could do an easy swap if I really want to But uh, oh, yo, I totally forgot that thing is poison type as well But I still want to go for a dazzling gleam here and then just high horsepower over into uh, him So he should be dead anyway Doing how much damage we can do with our dazzling gleam and our high horsepower coming in This crocodile is a beast dude. I love me some crocodile action Dazzling Gleam comes in here. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. The damage. The damage on Dazzling Gleams is just out of this world. High Horsepower cleans up the Eternatus. And this battle is just a wrap. This battle is a wrap. We're just doing insane amount of damage over here. EQ is going to pop through here. Both my Pokemon should be able to eat. Light work. Light work. Get these dudes out of my game, dude. Let me set up Xerneas. It's over after that. It is over after that. Moonblast is going to fly through here. He's definitely going to cancel battle. And High Horsepower I have to go into. But... Stuff and cancel battle. Yep, there's cancel battle. Dominated battle number one. Now we can hop over second and look to go back to back. That first battle showcases why Xerneas can be so broken in ranked double battles. Once you set up Geomancy, it's game over. It is game over. That thing's outspeeding everything. It is hitting everything like a truck. Basically, one tap and everything. And we were just using Dazzling Gleam. We weren't even using our hard hitting Moonblast. That thing was doing mass amount of damage. But anytime you're going up against a Xerneas team, make sure you target that thing. Make sure you figure out a way to take that thing out. Or chances are you are going to lose. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against a Kira White team over here. Alongside Alola Ninetales, Volt Corona, Sableye for support, Storm Drain, Gastron, and Suicune over here. Who can set up a Tailwind? So I could honestly just easily set up another Geomancer and probably just win this game. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that one because that's just too easy. That's just too easy. Let's have some fun with this one. Um, I could go to Valley and go for an Explosion. He does have Sableye, which does just eat up that uh, Explosion. I still want to go in the Sil Valley. I just think that's a good call. We could definitely rock out Blaze Cannon, which I think I am going to do because I do have Protect on that Pokemon. 
And then we are going to bring a Dragonite Kukadon. We're going to say, hey, Eternius, stay in the back end here. I think we should be fine all around. Or I could Icy Wind down. Hmm. I kind of just want to go into these two. Let's go Clefairy for this one. Clefairy, Blaziken, and Dragonite. I'm with it. I'm with it. We'll have Crocodile in the back or out of this one and Xerneas out of this battle. I just think we need that Icy Wind with our Clefairy to really help us out and get speed control for this battle. But uh, this team is actually really tough to play with. To be honest, there's no fake outs, there's no tailwind, there's no trick room. So it's like, what do I really do from here? It's really like set up with Xerneas kind of a lot from there. But we're looking for some wins with some off meta teams. We're looking for it, baby. We are looking for it. At least gonna go in with these two. I'm gonna Icy Wind, or I could just Protect and Explode. Protect and Explosion could be a huge play for us. Just to see how much damage we could possibly get off this guy. I think I might do that. Or I could go follow me. No, because then Explosion will hit us. I'm exploding. Screw this, man. Screw this. We protecting. We just gonna explode. Hopefully he doesn't read it, and we just get off some mass mad damage. He goes double protect. I'm a cry. I'm a cry, dude. <laughs> Let's see how this one plays out. My Clefairy protects. Come on, yo. Give me some big explosion action. Aurora Bell is setting up. And this Kyurem is probably going to go for a heavy hitting move. It's definitely scary. Explosion is coming out. It's coming out and about. We're exploding. Need my normal gem to give me my boost. Big old explosion. We're blocking. Where's my normal gem at? There it is. There it is. I was waiting for that. Normal gem strengthens explosion. And yes, sir, yo, look at that damage. That is some hefty damage. That is some hefty damage. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. That is some hefty damage there. He hangs on using a focus dash. Blizz is gonna fly through here. We're just gonna protect and block that one out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, at this point, I bring out Blaziken. And protect and just Icy Wind. Because Icy Wind will take out the, uh, the Nine Tails. And then slow down the Kyurem. And we will also get a speed boost from the Blaziken. But, at the same time, that takes away our Sash. Which I don't really like. It takes away our focus sash. But I think we're fine. I think we're chilling. Warbell is definitely scary, but look how much damage we did. If that if that Nine Tails wasn't sash, that's an easy KO. And Kiram did take a heaping amount of damage as well. So I think if the Warbell wasn't there, I think the thing goes down as well. Yeah, explosion. So much fun to use. It's so much fun to use, especially when people don't expect it. But most of the time, if someone's rocking a Sil Valley, protect turn one. They're usually there just to explode. Or they might hard read you. They're either exploding or protecting and hard reading you for next turn. And trying to get you to waste your protect. But it can go either way. Hypnosis is going to come out here. And Clefairy. Ooh, Clefairy dodges attack. Clefairy dodges attack and he predicts a protect, which I'm totally cool with. That's a good thing that we did. Uh, We blocked that Hypnosis or dodged it. Because now we just get rid of that Pokemon and we slow down the Kyurem here. Bilp. See you later, Ninetales. See you later, Skater. Slow you down. I can go for follow me's now. I got the speed of bands rolling out here with my Blaziken. The Blaze Kick, I'm going to close combats. Whatever I really want to do. Whatever Jeans really wants to do here. Speed boost flying out from Blazy. From Blazy, baby. We're going to follow me's. Let's just see who he brings out next. But so far, so far, so good. Without the Xerneas, we're, we're, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. He's going to be able to bring out Sableye, who is rocking Protect. Or not Protect, who is rocking, uh, Fake out. They don't like it. Should I swap the Dragonite? Probably gonna double down. He's probably gonna go into a uh, Earth Power, right? He's probably gonna go into Earth Power like he just did. I'm gonna swap into Dragonite here. I'm just gonna Icy Wind again. Dragonite is gonna get swapped because I'm predicting that Earth Power coming in. I'm totally predicting that Earth Power coming in hot. Quash is going to come through here. It fails, and an Earth Power coming through. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. So it could Quash me again, but I think we should be fine with this. Uh, with what we're doing here. I can just go for follow me at this point. He can Quash me all day. I can just follow me and finish off that, uh, that what's it called? That Kyurem, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Exactly what I'm going to do. We still have the Blaze can in the back end. The fairy's chilling here. Yo, nice read by me with the Earth Power. Nice read for the Earth Power. Um, what do I go into here? Could drop a dual wing beat. I think dual wing beat is our play here, considering the stab, and then we just drop a nice little follow me here. Nice, lovely follow me. 
He could quash me again, but at the same time, I'm going for this follow me, so it's awesome. Just great all around. Go for the follow me, and the quash actually slides over here, so it's going to fail. That's huge, and Dueling Beat is going to easily be able to take out this thing, and we are rolling strong. We are rolling strong in this battle so far. Making some nice swaps, got a nice big explosion off, and this thing still has a roar belt, which is definitely helping him out tremendously. Tremendously. So he has to save by for quashes, but at this point, I just keep going in the follow me's, right? Because I'm not, like, Sableye cannot sweep a team, so I'm not even going to target onto the uh, Sableye. I'm just going to worry about his final mod, which is going to be this Gastrodon. This lovely little Gastrodon. So we definitely outspeed, and I am just going to go into another dual wing beat here. And just drop another lovely follow me. Just another lovely follow me here. We know he's rocking Earth Power with that thing, which can be scary. Which can indeed be scary. I'm trying to showcase this team without Zernia. So, so far, I'm like I'm liking how we're playing here. This team really, really rides on uh, Zernia. He, this team is heavily on Zernia. Heavily. Heavy on Zernia. He's going to trick here. Take my Ewa Light. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with you taking my Ewa Light. Give me a lagging tail. I'm fine with that. Considering we're basically just going into uh, Follow Me's here. Dude, this award bell is actually annoying me. This is annoying me a lot. I don't like it one bit. He's going to be able to go ooh, into a muddy water. Double hitting, so follow me really ain't doing much there. You are able to eat, which I love. I absolutely love. I could go into another follow me, which I think might just recover. Hmm. I think could just recover. Oh, Roar Bell wears off. Love to see it. We love to see it. Okay. Uh, let's just do wing beat. Bounce on that thing again, and I could... Good helping hand. Helping hand might be able to make make us be able to take that out. So I am gonna go for a helping hand. There's nothing this no way this thing quashes, right? We're getting off the helping hand. This thing is gonna oh he's gonna drop a willow wisp. You dirty dog. You dirty dog. It's gonna drop a willow wisp. That's gonna neglect so much damage. Pretty much change ties of this battle. Dual wing be flying out here. Muddy water is gonna come out, right? Muddy water has to come out, right? Yeah, Muddy Water flies. Oof. I just need my uh, Dragon Knight to be able to survive when we eat next turn. Yep. Perfect. But we're able to eat. And I'm just wondering what this, uh, this save is going to do. Probably just Will O' Wisp, right? Because I need to get rid of this Gash Shot. I really do need to get rid of this Gash Shot. I really do need to get rid of this Gash Shot. This Gash Shot is our only problem. So we could protect here. He could go into a. Uh... What do I think he's going to do? What do I think he's going to do? Is that Muddy Water stuff is scaring me. I say we just do Wing Beat over onto you. And then we just close combat down into this Pokemon. Because if he Muddy Waters, that's just tough for my Blaziken. Because my Blaziken might go down for that. So if he's going to protect, I'd rather uh, swap the moves here. And not double down into this Pokemon. Because I think a close combat should just be able to take it out easily. He could quash me. Oh, he could easily quash that. He might quash my blaze skin. I'm not liking this, yo. I'm not liking this. Come on, yo. We got this battle. We got this. I wish I still had my focus, Ash. There's the quash. E! Leave me alone! Yo, blaze skin, I need you to eat this one up. I need you to eat this one up. Blaze skin, I need you to be like, yo, this is a tasty snack on planet Earth. Or he can just miss a muddy water. Considering I miss muddy waters all the time. Of course he doesn't. Of course he doesn't. Blaze skin, yo, eat this up, buddy. Eat up all day. Let's go. Let's go, Blaze. Let's go, Blazekin. Close combat. Take him out. Take him out. Punch on him. Yes, sir. Yo, big KO there. Huge KO there. We have speed advantage. He hasn't used a hitting move all game. So I'm thinking we're sitting in the driver's seat here. We got the speed boost. I can drop a Blaze kick into this thing. I can also drop a blue wing beat yet again. And I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine here in battle number two. Picking up another win. It looks like, yo, your boy's been playing super, super well. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's, uh, let's drop the to wing beat just for the stab boost. And then lovely little blaze kick coming out here. Trying to finish off the save line, which I think the blaze kick just should be able to do it. Too much cancel battle. There it is. Cancel battle. Back-to-back -back victories. Let's hop into our third and grab ourselves that perfect record with this team. Someone cool me down. Someone cool me down. I'm on a heater right now. Absolutely dominating the rank double ladder. 2-0 right now, showed off Xerneas in that first battle, showed off the team without Xerneas in the second battle, and now we have a big challenge on our hands. Kyogre team in battle number three. 
Did you guys expect anything different? There's never a video that goes by in Series 10 where we're not versing a Kyogre team. They're just all across the meta, and it's crazy. But this guy's a little bit off meta with it. He's got the top of the lane, the Ditto, the Raichu, Galarian, Articuno, and the Wimscott. So he has two Pokemon that can set up Tailwind. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see him go into uh, Whimsicott and Kyogre. And if he does, I think we just lose. Honestly, this team can do nothing up against a Kyogre with a Tailwind. Like, I'm looking at it right now, and it cannot do anything up against it. Like, not one thing. We don't have a fake out. I, I, I just don't know. I mean, we can Icy Wind. We can Icy Wind to potentially slow down a little bit. But it's just like, oh, what, like, what do we do from there? I am going to try to set up Geomance if I can. And then it's just so tough. It's really, really tough. I'm going to bring Blaziken because, I mean, Blaziken has Focus Ash. Then final Pokemon, we're going to want our Choice Scarf. But it's super, super tough if he's just going into a Fake Out. Or not Fake Out. If he's just going into a Tailwind into Kyogre. Because like I said, this team has nothing. We don't have a Tailwind. We don't have a Fake Out. It's very, very off meta. Like, it has nothing to really counter stuff. We don't have a Trick Room. So we can't just, like, protect Trick Room and kind of get Speed Advantage next turn. No, it's like... If he tailwinds to get off the water spout and we don't take out that Kyogre right then and there, it's over with. And here it is. Here's Whimscott and Kyogre. I don't like it. Like I said, I don't like it. So we gotta go with these two. Uh, follow me is not gonna be the play. I think Protect maybe into an Icy Wind. He's gonna be play. Right, slow them down just a little bit. Even though Tailwind is a huge factor. I think that has to be our play, right? We don't have Storm Drain on this team either. Like, dude, it's super, super tough going up against this. Like I said, it's just easy Tailwind and Water Spout for him. Well, let's just see his play. It's got to be Tailwind and Water Spout. No, we should set up a Light Screen. I probably could have set up a Geomance. But again, it's just going to be Water Spout all day. It's just Water Spout all day, and I have to protect the Zern. I have to protect the Zern. The Fairy's taking a ridiculous amount of damage. Ridiculous amount of damage. I see when it is flying. Uh, hmm. What do I do from here? What do I do from here? We get the speed decrease. I'm trying to just like think of a way to kind of get out of this. But it's looking so tough because he's going to tell in here. He has the light screen up. Uh, Journey isn't going to be able to outspeed that thing at this point. Uh, Follow me is going to do nothing because again, he's just water spouting. He's just double hitting moves, so there's no point of being going into it. If I do get off this Geomance, then, then we will be able to outspeed the Kyogre. So I think that's our, that's our last option, is to get off this Geomance. There's a Tailwind out and about from him, and another Water Spout is coming. So Clefairy is definitely going to go down here. I think Xerneas is going to be able to eat up this one. Let's see. Yes. Okay, so Xerneas is going to be able to eat up this one, which is really, really good, considering we're going to be able to outspeed the Kyogre now. He is minus one. We are plus two. Tailwind is basically a plus two, I'm pretty sure. So, I really... I'm really hoping we can uh, get off a big move on this thing. He could protect and get after me, but I'm trying to think of who I should bring out here. I could bring out Blaziken. Like I said, we have to focus on Blaziken. I kind of want to bring him just for that reasoning. Or I could bring out Crookedile, but Crookedile is not going to be able to pick up the shot at all. So, I think Blaziken is a must come out here. And I don't want him to just protect the Kyogre, so uh, I'm trying to think of what I should do. What should I do? Do I protect him, or do I use my Sash this turn? I could Sword Stance, protect next turn, and kind of go from there. It is options. We have options. I'm definitely going to protect it. I think I am just going to Gleam here. I need to keep my Focus Sash. And I can see the Kyogre protecting. He's going to end up with on the Kyogre. So Gleam is actually a solid turn here. And Articuno is going to fly through. Articuno is going to fly through here. And he's just saving his uh, his Kyogre. Which can be really tough for us. Gleam is going to fly through here. We are going to start chipping away. Bilp. Getting rid of the Wimscott. That's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for us. We get rid of the Wimscott on a critical hit. Even though I think we were taking him out regardless. Speed boost is coming through here. Jeans is turning the tides. I'm turning the tides here baby. We are turning the tides. 
Articuno is here, and Articuno could drop a trick then. Ditto is gonna fly through, yo. God dang, Ditto. Gonna take my Xerneas, man. Leave my Xerneas alone. Leave him alone. He transforms. He gets my abilities. He's doing me. He's doing me. Leave me alone here. I uh, could Swords Dance. I think at this point, I think, a, I think a Blaze Kick should be able to take out Articuno, right? Actually, let's double down into Ditto. Let's double down into Ditto here. I could, I could totally Swords Dance, but I'm doubling down into Ditto here. Because the Dazzling Gleam should easily be able to take out this Articuno. And do a good amount of damage to the Ditto. I don't, he doesn't get my stats, I don't think. He gets my stats? Hold up. He gets my stats? No way he gets my stats. Or he, it's a speed tie, I think. I think he just won the speed tie. I think he just won the speed tie. No way. Does Ditto get, I gotta see this. Does Ditto get the stats? Or I think he just won the speed tie. Because like I said, Tailwind is basically same as plus two. Let me see. Let me see. Come here. Let me, let me see some. Let me, let me see some. If you get my stats, that's broken. That's broken. But I don't think you do. I think he just won the speed tire. Competitive Articuno comes out here. That's pretty much GG's. There's G to the G's. Uh, let me let me see. Let me see you real quick. Come here, Dino. He does get my stats? What you mean? Yo, what you mean? I did not know that. I did not know that. That is broken. You get my stats. Out my face, yo. That's GG's. That's GG's. I'm keeping my crew good out alive. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face. I did not know Ditto does that. I did not know that. But hey, 2 1 for today's video. Not a bad set of battles. This team was tons of fun to use on the ranked double ladder. Definitely not the best team to use on the ranked double ladder. If you're trying to push ranks, I wouldn't recommend using this team. But if you're looking to have some fun with a cool off meta team, this team is definitely for you guys. We rocked out, won two of our battles out of three. Got dumped on by that Ditto who I did not know takes stats that they're in the final. But I'm glad we got to show off the first battle of us setting up Xerneas and dominating with that. And then that second battle of us not even using Xerneas and showcasing the off meta Pokemon for this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.